How does, it feel, how does it feel being called Bishop? <laughs> <laughs> it's weird. I'm starting to get used to it a little bit. But. Good. Okay. Okay, this is part two of our interviews with Bishop. Bishop-elect Robert Reed, but by the time this is out in the community, you will have been a bishop. Congratulations on your appointment. Thank you. Uh, what is the actual date of your um, ordination as a bishop? It is the Feast of uh, St. Bartholomew, the Apostle, uh, August 24th. Great. Excellent. Excellent. We look forward to seeing that and being part of that wonderful celebration. I'm sure Catholic TV will be broadcasting it. It'll be live beginning at 1.30 with the procession. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. I'll make sure this goes out before that so people can tune in. I believe the great, uh, the great Rocco Palmo is going to be involved <laughs> providing some color to it. <laughs> <laughs> great, great. Uh, Bishop, when I communicated with you after the announcement, uh, you said something very interesting. You said, I don't know what Francis was thinking. <laughs> yeah. Um, you obviously. Well, I, I was dumbfounded. So, you know, that was my first thought. You know, why? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we know why. We'll fill that in later. But tell me. Um, as much as you are allowed to, what was the process? Did you get, get a letter in the mail? Did someone call you in? Well, so I've come to find out the process was actually over two years long. But uh, I was actually, strangely enough, in New Jersey at a, ho at a Holiday Inn because I had, uh, I had a, a, a meeting in Philadelphia. And so I, I drove down. And uh, I was just going to take a Monday to drive home. Right. And I usually take Monday off, just to get a little free time. So um, when I got up in the morning, um, after a fashion, I looked at my phone and I had uh, two emails, one from the rectory in the parish where I live and one from Catholic TV, both saying that a Monsignor Vigano had called about a communications matter. And I thought it was kind of odd because I knew that Vigano was the name of the Apostolic Nuncio, the Pope's uh -huh. representative in the uh -huh. United States. So, but I, you know, I didn't think too much of it, and uh, you know, I got went in to use the bathroom, brush my teeth, eat whatever, and then I came out. And I said, "Well, I, I better, I better call this guy, you know, see what it is." So I called, and, and the lady answered the phone. She said, "Apostolic Nunciature," and my blood ran cold. And I <laughs> said, "Hello." I said, uh, "My name is Father Reed." I said, "I'm calling from one senior big enough." Oh yes, Father. She said, "He's waiting for your call." So when he picked up, he said, is this Father Robert P. Reed? I said, yes, it is. I said, is this Archbishop Vigano? He said, yes. I said, oh, I've never had the chance to meet you. It's good to talk to you. He says, yes. How are you feeling? <laughs> I said, I'm, I'm feeling fine, thank you. He said, good. Pope Francis has named you a bishop. Do you accept? Oh, really? <laughs> I, I honestly was absolutely speechless for the first time in my life i could not i couldn't talk it was like i had been struck dumb and i got i got emotional and he i think he knew he knew that uh you know that something was up so he said well you know the the, the role of the bishop in today's world and society is not a, an easy one it's very challenging wow. there in the archdiocese of boston and everything so i said to him once i composed myself i said watch well, bishop could i could i think about this for a while he said, oh, yes, you could take two or three hours. Call me back this afternoon. Thank you. God bless. <laughs> so you got your call in New Jersey. In New Jersey. Oh, that's wonderful for us. Okay. <laughs> so that's and how it happened. I went, I, I, I started, you know, once I got over that, I, I fell on my knees afterwards over by the bed and just, just kept saying, oh, God, oh, God, you know, and then I composed myself and I started to drive home and I ended up at a church in New Rochelle, uh, the Church of the Blessed Sacrament actually, because I called and I found that it was open. I spent about an hour and a half in there just praying about yeah. it, thinking about it, and then I, um, they were, actually they kicked me out at three o'clock because they locked the church. So I went out in the parking lot and I called them back and I said, all right, I'll... 
it's remarkably simple and down to earth. Per perfect for your personality. That's great. That is wonderful. You know, it's funny, a, a friend of mine, now deceased, Bishop Donato, young guy, he died last year, but um, pancreatic cancer. He tells a story that when he got that call, he was in his office, and all he could do was cry. So the emotions must be so intense in you when you got that call, and probably still. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's something that you, you, you could never prepare for, you know, because, uh, well, it just is. So. And, and the fact that you are, I mean, it's, this is not just a hyperbole, you are a successor of the Apostles. So they tell me, yeah, yeah, which is quite amazing, you know. I had a, you know, to pick two bishops, you know, to be the co-consecrators, and as it's been explained to me, uh, that is to ensure that that succession uh, does indeed go back to the apostles, so that we have that unbroken chain, Isn't that uh, which is a very Catholic thing. Absolutely. And who are the bishops you chose? I haven't contacted oh, them yet. Oh, okay. So okay, we'll find out in August. <laughs> That's great. Your aspirations for Catholic TV as a bishop, what happens now? Well, I asked the, the next night after the call, I had uh, dinner with Cardinal Sean O'Malley, who's my archbishop, and I'm going to be an auxiliary bishop for the Archdiocese of Boston, so I'll be working closely with him. And uh, he asked me, he says, now what about Catholic TV? And I said, well, I said, Cardinal Sean, you know, I've been thinking about this. This is one of the first things I thought of. And I said, I think we're at a really good moment uh, in terms of our growth. And I, I also have uh, underneath kind of the umbrella of our corporation, our diocesan newspaper, The Pilot, which is America's oldest Catholic newspaper. Great. And uh, we have a, a bulletin company and a printing company. So you know, everything is kind of going well right now. And I said, be, I just think it would be a shame to you know, lose the momentum and I said, in addition to that, I think, you know, having me at Catholic TV in this capacity could could help us, you know, to extend the reach. Mm -hmm. And he agreed with me and said, well, you know, can you do it, you know, you know, less time? I said, sure. I said, I think we could just rearrange things mm -hmm. uh, because I'm going to be assigned to a region of the archdiocese as a regional bishop and then um, and then a parish as well. Oh, I see. I see. So you'd be a pastor, bishop and regional um, representative of the cardinal. Great, right. great, great. And, and that's the normal process, I, I guess, we follow as a Catholic Church. You know, just a sign and continu continuation of the ministry. It's beautiful. So, sure. um, so you'll stay on Catholic TV until further changes. Right. That's great. And I think that's really important because, um, <laughs> not, not to, you know, again, hyperbole, you'll be a, like a Bishop Sheen. I mean, you'll be there on TV as a bishop. And I think we as Catholics need that. We need further support from the church um, in, in evangelizing through the media. So you can do, I mean, obviously you are already on Facebook and all those other good uh, ministries. I, I, I call them ministries. I don't know how God invented Skype and Facebook and all that, but he did a good job. <laughs> and it's, I mean, look what we're doing right now. Exactly. Exactly, exactly. Oh, what what hopes do you have? Have you made any ideas looking into the future um, for yourself as bishop in the diocese? Well, uh, I'm looking forward to uh, being more involved in parish life. You know, obviously, I help out on weekends in two parishes, one in Plymouth and one in Newton, Massachusetts. Uh, but since I'm um, more than likely going to be the pastor of a parish, with some help, I'll be more involved in parish life. And, you know, that's where my heart is. I mean, I, I, when I was a kid, I, I wanted to be a priest. I wanted to be a parish priest because that's what my example was from the good guys in my parish. So That's great. Um, I found that I've learned so much from the people that I've served. Uh, and, you know, Pope Francis talks a lot about the going out to the people on the peripheries, but sometimes the people on the peripheries are, are pretty close to us, you know. Mm. It can be as close as the, you know, the, the elderly couple sitting in the back row of the pew or the kid who comes up to you at the end of Mass and gives you a hug. And sometimes those are the people 
on the periphery. So I just like being in a parish, and I so I look forward to that. And I think that will only. Oops. Oh yeah. Okay, for a my, second. Uh, my battery's getting low on my phone. Okay. Um, my, uh, I think that will only enhance my ability to be more effective at Catholic TV. Great. I, that's that's. You mentioned uh, your early uh, childhood. Uh, who's in your family? I have three older brothers and an older sister. They uh, uh, live in uh, Seattle, in Denver, and two in Florida. And uh, it's going to be nice because it'll be a, a bit of a family reunion. We haven't been together since my dad died about 16 years ago. Oh. So that'll be nice, and they'll all be in the front row in church, which will be uh, somewhat of a miracle. That's, <laughs> that's wonderful. Bishop, this has been an honor, and I really am still impressed with you and your ministry, and I'm so impressed with, with Bishop, uh, Pope Francis' choice of making you a bishop. Well, thank you, and thank you for your uh, important ministry and your reaching out to people as well, and also the work that you do in the parish and your preaching, which I know is very effective. God bless you, and let's keep in touch. If you need anything, right. um, maybe after you're ordained, I will have another interview. Sure thing. Yeah. And it'll, it'll include all of the excitement that went on in your stomach while you're walking up that aisle. <laughs> oh God, I know. We'll Any, see how that goes. <laughs> anything you'd like to share with our audience before we close? No, I'm good. I'm just afraid my battery's going to die on me. Okay. May you keep alive and well and keep your battery alive and well. Thank you, Bishop. I appreciate it. This has been Father Louis Skirty with Bishop Robert Reed from Boston Archdiocese. Thanks, Father. God bless you. Bye.